Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The final episode of season one is here. And what a way to end it for sure. Little tidbit about this episode. So this one stars M. Emmett Walsh and Audra Lindley. They play husband and wife in this one. And actually, the crazy part about it, so the the husband part is actually retiring in this episode. But the funny part about it, in real life, Audra is actually 18 years older than him. But anyhow, let's get into this episode. This one is called Collection Completed. Now, Jonas has just retired from his job, or should I say, force retired. After 47 years of service, they let him go. So, now it's time to go home and finally spend some time with his wife, Anita. Now, a little background on his wife. So, Anita, since Jonas was always working, she made friends to keep herself busy throughout all these years, obviously, to keep herself from being lonely. She made a lot of friends. And who are said friends? Well, they're actually animals. Cats, dogs, birds, squirrels, and then some. Anita is basically the animal whisperer. She loves them, and they love her back. Anyways, Jodis is back home, and he hates all the animals hanging around the house. He's still bitter about the forced retirement, and just wants to, he just wants some peace and quiet, basically. But all the animals are driving him nuts, and he can't do anything without these animals getting in the way. Anita treats these pets like they're her children or something, and he just can't stand it. Dude, she even named the dog after Jonas. And according to the human version of Jonas, something has got to give. Will he eventually accept Anita's love for all the pets, or will other options arise? Hmm. This is a really good way to end off the season. This is probably the most fleshed out story out of all of them. Though it was only 20 plus minutes long like the rest of them, it just felt like a long form movie just the way it was presented. You really got to learn each character, great exposition, you really start to feel for Anita because she's been alone for so long and she found companionship through these pets. And Jonas refuses to notice this and, becomes, and it becomes a huge issue in the relationship. He's such a stubborn ass dude too. While Anita is a very sweet, kind woman, the relationship is kind of like a yin-yang type thing, you know? I guess I have to say, you know, opposites attract. Polar opposites at this one. <laughs> a really good scene that I really enjoyed that I thought was funny as hell was when Jonas is at the table waiting to eat and Anita is cooking a really good looking steak. And once it's done, she walks right past Jonas and gives it to the dog Jonas. You know homeboy lost his shit on that one. And Jonas is just beside himself, man, but it's a great scene. But the ending is very satisfying, and not to spoil too much, just a little teaser here. Let's just say the couple finally find a way to make it work, okay? <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. But like I said, this episode was great, though. It was hella funny and entertaining. Anyways, I mean, hey, that's all for season one, y'all. And overall, really good way to start off the what actually ends up being seven seasons in total. My favorite episode, though, of this season, I have to say, is Lover Come Hack to Me. Especially how that one ends, man. It goes violent out of nowhere. And there's so much blood. It's beautiful. I loved it. Anyways. <laughs> now, we're moving on to season two next week. This is the season where the show really becomes popular. More episodes. More guest stars. More Crypt Keeper and his awesome lines. And more, more Shane Nasty reviews. Yeah, so season two has a total of 18 episodes. 18. The most out of all seasons. But anyhow, that's all for today. Stay nasty, my friends. Be sure to bleed that like button dry. And remember, on the Don't Split Up channel, hell has never been so cool. Shay Nasty out. I'll see you soon. Would you steal a car? No. Would you steal a computer? No. Would you steal a purse? No. Would you steal a TV? No. Have you subscribed to the Don't Split Up channel yet? No. Viewing without subscribing is a dick move. Don't be a dick. Subscribe. Click and subscribe. It's free.